All right, well, uh, this is gonna be just a little look at the Lodge Cast Iron USA Enamel Series. Um, this is a seven and a half quart Dutch oven. Uh, it just came in and I am about to open this thing and get a, a good first impression. Um, and then we'll just take a little look at it, do a little cooking. Um, before I even open the box, let me just say, look, it's a cast iron Dutch oven. Probably not any difference between any other enameled cast iron Dutch oven. Um, they, they differ only in very minor aspects across all the different brands I saw. I thought about getting a Staub, I thought about getting a little cruise set, but these are pretty fresh out this year, made in the United States, and so I figured, hey, why not give a little support to somebody trying to manufacture something that is very difficult to manufacture in the Western world, which is enamel cast iron cookware. And that's because it environmental regulations and things, the uh, the enameling process is actually the issue with why most of these are made in Asia and the ones that are made in Europe are real expensive. And this was not cheap, um, but it is a little cheaper than the, the French European models. All right, so packaging. You know, I've seen a couple of these unboxed. They do have nice packaging for these. Uh, we got a little booklet, you know, in a bunch of different languages. What does it say? Uh, a bunch of marketing about how American it is. Care and use, limited lifetime warranty. Okay, so we got a white enamel interior. Looks like we got a raw lip, cast iron lip screw on the inside. There's no uh, little nipples, uh, like the Staubs have little nipples all over the top to dribble, um, kind of what they say is self-basting. There's your enamel finish. Got a red one. I tend to like red for my appliance stuff in the kitchen. I got uh, red espresso machines, red KitchenAid mixers. There is the main show. Uh, comes with some pot protectors, that's nice. And there, the main show. So, uh, sure is heavy, for sure. I mean, it's cast iron. Um, I don't see offhand any issues at all. I don't see any nicks or chips. Look around the edge real close. Yeah, so uh, the only thing I could nitpick is, let me see if I can get it on screen here. Uh, if I zoom all the way in. It's really going to be hard to make out, but you can see right above the handle at this lip, there's a bit of thin spot um, where the color looks just a tad thin above that handle. It's not on the other side, it's just on this side, and I, that's, to me, that's no big deal at all. Very, 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 very minor. Um, by the way, another thing I saw is a lot of people don't like the handle inserts, um, and one thing that, you know, can see uh, those are screwed in, so you could uh, take those out, I believe, if you wanted to. Good look at the bottom there. Um, again, seven and a half quarts, so this is the biggest one that they're currently making. Let me see if these things come out. There's your inserts. So they're just a nice little faceted back, nice shiny polished top edge. Looks like uh, on the bottom of this one, they got maybe just a bit aggressive with the, the buff in the wheel there at the bottom. No real issue for me on that again. Um, if piece of cast iron person to me can only be so picky when you're talking about cast iron. Well, I guess before I put this back in, let's uh, take a look at what's underneath. It is enameled underneath. So again, if you just really hate the look of those things, I guess um, you could just take them out just leave it like that, but then you'd have some, you know, little pits to, to gather gunk and stuff, I'm sure. Back in. All right, so there's our big pot. Uh, let me get the scale. Let me say, let me go get the big, let me go get the big scale, because this thing is, my kitchen scale maxes out at about 10 pounds, so uh, this is definitely over 10 pounds. All right, so I've got the uh, bathroom scale out. <laughs> I did wash it, so don't get too grossed out. Um, 
So this uh, cast iron Dutch oven, again, this is a, their biggest one. Um, it's supposed to be 17.7 .7 pounds, and it's 16.6. .6. So um, that's actually kind of surprising. That's over a full pound lighter than it's supposed to be. That weight of 16.6 .6 is fairly accurate, I'd say within a few ounces at least. Um, so like I said, this thing is supposed to weigh 17.7 um, .7 pounds. So it's over a pound lighter than advertised. It's still heavy, but it is lighter, right? So that's, that's nice to know. Um, let's get some dimensions on it. All right, let's take the lid off. See what we're looking at inside. So it's supposed to be about 15.7 inches long. That looks about right. Yeah, about 15 three quarters. Um, height, 8.7. Now I guess that's with the lid is all I can figure in that. I don't really have a great way to measure that. Three inches on the lid. But yeah, I'd say that's about right. That looks about right. So dimensions look about normal. It says about 12 inches. You know, it says 11.92. I'm getting a touch over 12. So it's a little bit bigger in the diameter um, than it's listed. Check on that. Yeah, so a little over 12 inches on the lid also. So if I measure that across, I'm close to 12 and a quarter, um, I would say. So this way, 12 and a quarter. Uh, this way, that's 17 and three quarter interior on the top, looking at about 11 and three quarter, more or less. And it's round, pretty close to round there. So 11 and three quarter there. Now on the bottom, it's going to be really tough to measure. But I'd say you've got roughly nine and a quarter on the bottom. So decent amount of a bottom surface there. Uh, to work with. The inside is all smooth. There is a bit. It's not totally. Yeah. Um, so it's smooth, but there actually is a bit of a, a line impression that is very subtle. You, you can see it a little bit on the video right there. And that is from uh, this outside design. Um, and so, you know, that's something to be aware of. That pattern is kind of going into the inside a little bit. Right, not much, but um, there are kind of those little semicircles um, on the inside. As far as the bottom, the bottom is all enameled, which is kind of interesting. Um, I guess, you know, I can see both ways. I can see why you might want to have the bottom raw iron. I can also see why you probably want to have it enameled. There's no rings or anything, it is flat. So I guess, just in case anybody's wondering, you're going to get roughly eight and that's about seven eighths, eight seven eighths, probably a contact patch on the bottom, not including, you know, what they've got cast in there. All right. Well, there's your dimensions and everything. Um, what else can I say? The handles have good amount of room. This top handle and lid, plenty of room there. Um, you know, I don't really like that screw. I kind of wish that was, I don't know, maybe a, a more of a flatter screw with maybe an Allen or something. Uh, you know, I just, I see there's going to be stuff getting stuck up there sometimes, but I guess at least you can get it off. So, you know, not the worst thing in the world. And, you know, obviously I, I think expecting them to cast the handle in to the lid, I don't know that that would really be a smart idea because um, that thing, I don't know, may break, or you might just want to take it off at some point for various reasons. Um, for one thing, like if if you really just needed this thing to fit somewhere, you could take that off and then it wouldn't stand out. Um, for storage, obviously, turn the thing upside down and it'll store well. It does also look like maybe this inside lip will fit, but that's what you've got uh, these for. Um, again, you can put those on the edge and then it won't uh, scratch anything up and it'll protect everything from chipping. All right, so uh, I'm going to get this thing washed up, do a little cooking in it, and then I'll uh, tell you what I think. Although, you know, I mean, look, it's cast iron, uh, enameled Dutch oven. It's going to do Dutch oven things, right? I, I don't expect 
that it won't cook. But anyway, uh, I'll get to it. So for a cooking test, I ended up doing Julia Child's recipe for beef bourguignon or bour bourguignon. I Anyway, it's a good recipe for enameled cast iron because it involves a lot of different types of cooking. You got to get some bacon going. You got to sear the beef. You're going to be sauteing vegetables. And then you add a bunch of wine, which is acidic. You're doing oven work. Um, and then you ended up putting it all together and baking it for a few hours and it comes out and it's also, by the way, absolutely delicious. And it was, it was a great meal and a really great use of an enameled cast iron Dutch oven and the lodge performed great. All right, so uh, let's finish up on the Dutch oven then. Um, now that we've cooked with it and I think we've cooked rather well, um, I mean, look, it's a Dutch oven. It does Dutch oven things. If you don't want a gigantic cast iron Dutch oven, then you shouldn't get this. Um, and that's one thing I would point out is, look, if you're getting this thing, be aware of what you're getting. Um, it's huge. I had to take one of the shelves out of my refrigerator to put this thing in. Um, it, it's big, right? It's tall. You're going to have to, whenever you put it in the oven, move racks around. Uh, you know, one thing I, that that popped out at me that I wasn't expecting, I mean, I should have, look, the lid itself is like five and a half pounds. You know, I mean, it's it's big and it's heavy. And uh, if if you're not sure whether you need seven and a half quarts of Dutch oven, then maybe you don't. And maybe look at one of the smaller ones. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Part of me wishes maybe I should have gone for the six quart um, rather than seven and a half or one of the smaller ones, maybe, because this one is just huge. However, um, I, I think I'm, I'm happy that I got the biggest one because there's some other stuff that I cook that I think the extra size is, is going to be nice to have. Um, but yeah, it, it's big and it's heavy. And that's one thing I would say that you just really want to be aware um, of what you're getting into. Um, you know, on the weight, uh, I think the Le Creux set is listed at a little over 13 pounds. The Staub in this size range is like 14 pounds. So this is probably a little heavier um, overall than the Staub or the Le Creux set. So again, size is kind of one thing I would point out. Uh, color, it's a bit on the orange side on the red spectrum. It's definitely red. I don't think anybody would walk in and say this is orange, but it does tilt a little toward the orange side of things. You know, and I've already, I've taken some other footage of like color chips and stuff, but like on a uh, uh, Nipex pliers, they're pretty red. Um, and I'd say it's, you can see it's a bit more toward the orange there, um, but that's actually pretty close. Um, you know, on like a red anodized piece of aluminum, you can kind of see the difference there. You know, on a, on a good red color chip on the spectrum, you can see it is just a touch toward the orange end. Um, I don't mind. I like the color. Um, it cleaned up really easily. But I really had uh, zero trouble getting the inside clean. And the inside is one thing that I will also point out. I, I think I mentioned earlier that those mold lines do come through. And so one thing I noticed is like if you're scraping down the sides, there's ever so slightly a little you know ridge there. Um, that could kind of get annoying because you know it's it's one of those things when you're scraping sides, it's just a little bit of a lip that you can feel. Um, I don't know. I don't really think it's a big deal, but in a perfect world, if, if I was Lodge, I would not have done that. Um, I definitely, I would have liked to have seen this be more smooth. And again, it's not, it's smooth, but I, I would have liked to have seen that ridge not come through to the inside. Now that probably would have made the thing heavier um, if they still wanted to keep the exterior lines, but I don't know. I just, it's not my preference. Otherwise, everything worked well, it heats well, you know, it retains heats well, it cooks well, it cleans well. Um, it's, it's a giant Dutch oven. It does, again, Dutch oven things. So I'm pretty satisfied. It is a little cheaper than the Staub or the Le Creux set. Um, and so, you know, as far as that, I think it delivers on the value proposition. Um, if I had any nitpicks, um, 
you know, the stainless parts are imported, and that doesn't make any sense. You're doing the whole thing in the United States, and then these parts, these little inserts in the handle are imported. I mean, it doesn't seem like that would be difficult to make in the United States in a cost-effective way. Maybe I'm wrong, but that seemed like an odd choice because this thing is really pumped up, rah-rah American, um, and then you make the hardware somewhere else, I think China. Um, imported, right? So that's weird. Um, it, I wish it were a little lighter, but I mean, there's only so much you can do if you're doing cast iron at seven and a half quarts. It's, it's going to weigh a lot. Um, but I do, you know, overall, I wish it were lighter. Um, I wish the mold lines didn't carry over to the inside. I think that's it. I think that's the only complaints I have. I'm really having to dig because um, overall, there's really nothing to complain about. It works. It works great. Ah, one other thing before I, uh, before I move on to the conclusion here. I asked, I emailed Lodge uh, about the pigments, and I asked, are they using cadmium? Are they using any lead or arsenic? Or is there any other heavy metals in the coloring? And they kind of punted, and they gave me the answer that I honestly kind of expected, which is they you know, are stringently tested and they meet all Prop 63, 64, whatever the California stuff is, all FDA, everything, you know, they meet all of that. And they said that it they don't have any lead, but they didn't mention cadmium or anything else. So I know that there are some people that are very, very conscious about that stuff with uh, enameled cookware because the pigments can sometimes have some stuff. I would simply point out the inside is not colored at all, um, so nothing you, you eat should be touching that, and it does pass all of the requirements um, for like leaching and stuff like that. I don't know what they're using. They did tell me it doesn't have lead, but yeah, overall I'd say uh, if you're looking for a nice heirloom quality Dutch oven, maybe uh, take a look at the Lodge USA Enamel Series because it's it's well done. Um, they're well made. They work. You know, I mean, they're made here in the United States, so you should expect a, a little bit higher level of quality and a little bit better uh, control over the materials that are used and the pigments that are used. And, you know, you probably don't have to worry about some of the stuff that happens in um, Chinese manufacture. Now, you know, against something like a Staub or a Lecru set, I'd say it probably will hold its own. I don't have them to compare. Um, I would say it's probably going to be a bit heavier and the style is going to be up to you whether or not you like the look of the thing, but it's going to work just as well. I can't imagine that, you know, there's going to be that much of a difference in how they cook because they're all big, heavy cast iron Dutch ovens. So that's it. That's all I got to say about it. It works and I like it and I'm glad I got it now because I can do some fun stuff with it, like, you know, do the Dutch oven bread and you know, I can move some of my uh, my slow cooker recipes and maybe do them on the smoker and do this outside because I can use this on the grill or on the smoker or on a fire or things like that. But um, anyway, that's all I got. If you've got any questions or comments or feedback, as always, feel free to leave them in a comment down below. Thanks.